Anamorphic lenses were originally designed so that filmmakers could utilize full aperture of Super 35 while still shooting in a wide format. There was a range of reasons this was a huge benefit for filmmakers at the time with film, but now in the age of digital, why do people still shoot anamorphic? Well, there's a range of reasons, but there is something special about anamorphic lenses. And with digital sensors getting better, filmmakers are hunting for ways to dirty up their image and create their own style and character when creating imagery. Because of this, more and more affordable anamorphic solutions are popping up onto the market. And one of the newest is what we are looking at today. The Atlas Orion 2x anamorphic lenses are aiming to bring big budget anamorphics to the masses. They are currently shipping the A set which consists of a 40mm, 65mm and 100mm. Before getting our demo set of lenses, I managed to get my hands on these lenses twice before. The first was a BSC 2018, the second was a NAB 2018. The mechanics have got progressively better and now they feel solid with any minor inconsistencies in the feel of the focus. The focus of which you have 270 degrees of movement feels like a slightly stiffer master prime. The aperture also feels smooth as expected. The 40 and 65 have a very similar size and weight, but the 100 is much bigger and heavier. Despite varying size, your gear placement is consistent throughout the set and your front diameter is also consistent at 114 millimeters. The lenses have 14 aperture blades and are all rated at T2 wide open. This is fast for an anamorphic being faster than the newish PNS Kawa Evo 2 times and a little bit faster than Cook's Prime offerings. The close focus on these lenses is also very impressive. The current three lenses we have range from around two foot to just over three foot. They also have an interchangeable mount system that allows you to change the mount from PL to EF, E or MFT. This is an awesome feature because of the range of cameras that these are gonna be used on. The pricing is pretty damn incredible for the quality of lenses you're getting. The A set, which is obviously the 40, 65 and 100 mil, will set you back about $24,000, which is around 8,000 the lens. That is incredibly well priced for a two times anamorphic lens in this kind of housing and with its feature set. But how do they perform? I've had a chance to sling them on our projector and won one of our Alexa minis, because the Alexa is life. We shot in 2K, 239, two times anamorphic mode at 25p. Focus breathing is apparent across all of the lenses in the set, but it's not extreme. The flares are pretty consistent throughout the set. They are a very saturated blue with hints of rainbow flaring. The 40mm has a very busy flare of a lot of circular flares showing wide open and a few in stop down. The 65mm is very similar to the 40, but with much less circular flare. The 100mm doesn't have the dual horizontal streak like the other two lenses and has a large circular flare which is reduced in size when stopped down. The bokeh on the 40mm has a kidney bean effect, which is better at close focus. This effect is almost gone when you stop down to T4, but the bokeh is better shaped. On the 65mm, wide open is very cat's eye, but as soon as you stop down to T4, the points on the top of the bokeh are reduced and the bokeh is much more pleasing. On the 100, the bokeh looks cut. When we pull to the close focus, you can see that the bokeh is not being shaped like it should be. This is only an issue where I wide open, as when stopped down, the bokeh is shaped as expected with no cutting. Distortion is really well controlled for a 40 mm You can see a little bit of bowing on the edges, but this is way better than normal for a 40 mm two times. And nowhere near as extreme as some of the others on the market. Both the 65 and the 100 mm are extremely well controlled with very minimal distortion across the frame. Skin tones look great on these lenses. Transitions are smooth and warm. The lenses also produce good contrast and are incredibly sharp when stopped down to T4. Up next, we threw up our focus chart. Wide open, the 40 mm is decently sharp with flare and CA out into the corners. Stopped down, the sharpness is increased and the flare is gone in the center and chromatic aberration is much better controlled. Wide open, the 65 mm has heavy purple fringing in the center of frame and a consistent flare going out to the corners. When stopped down, purple fringing is almost gone in the centre and flaring is massively reduced. The 100mm wide open is better than the previous, being decently sharp with only minor chromatic aberration across the frame. When stopped down, sharpness is improved and CA is reduced. So that's our first look at the Atlas Orion 2x anamorphic primes. A nice flare, gorgeous tone, nice separation, great mechanics and an IMS system make the Atlas Orions rival other anamorphics well outside their price bracket and cement them as some of the best bang for buck cinema lenses on the market today.